There's been an angry reaction to moves by the Duchy of Cornwall to concrete over an historic quay on the Isles of Scilly. Islanders are accusing Prince Charles's estate of being not so conservation conscious. The Duchy says it was because the quay was crumbling into the sea that made this kind of remedial action necessary. On November the 14th, it still looked as if it was built of granite blocks. But when the £1.4 million project is completed by the end of March, it'll be covered in concrete. It isn't a popular decision. I think it's a shame that the whole thing wasn't brought out into the open sooner, though. And um, I think that there should have been much more consultation before they started it. But perhaps when it's finished, people will get used to it. Prince Charles, as Duke of Cornwall, personally approved the plan. Yet in his book on architecture, he holds strong views about concrete. We can no longer tell where we are. Concrete, plastic cladding, aluminium, machine-made bricks and reconstituted stone are shipped to every corner of Britain from centralised production lines. This has created an overall mediocrity. As the islanders and the contractors prepare to celebrate Christmas, thoughts of what the quay will finally look like take second place in people's minds. But councillors are still struck by the lack of consultation from the duchy. They expected more. I think it would have been helpful to us all. We all know we have to have a key, and it's a very, very important part of life in the islands. But at the same time, our trade mainly is with visitors, and we wish to keep the islands looking as attractive as possible. The key holds a special place in Salonium's affections. It was built in 1840 by Augustus Smith as one of the conditions of his lease from the duchy in 1834. It stood defiant of tide and tempest in all its granite splendour ever since. Perhaps it's hardly surprising that councillors were alarmed by the concrete cladding which was personally approved by Prince Charles. Their concerns, of course, stem from the fact that we are a conservation area and anything of any prominence on the honours must have proper scrutiny. And the key being, as it is, a very important and uh, prominent structure like it is, we gave it the due consideration that we thought necessary. Will it be an eyesore? That's possible. We'll have to wait and see with the greatest respect. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment, of course, because uh, they're working on it very thoroughly. The quay looked much like the old quay near the harbour, but the Dutchies say the criticisms of the new concrete are unfair. The consultation was extensive. We uh, spoke to both to English Heritage, also to the council, the matter that went to the council's planning committee. And yes, the materials to be used were discussed in detail, eventually happily agreed, and we have the agreement both of the council and of English Heritage. Salonians recognise the need for economy.